Hello, I'm Brian Malloy, and this is Dimitri Dimov. We're the founders of Swivel. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, the OECD and Turkstat and the Turkish Prime Ministry for just a fantastic week here in Istanbul. Dimitri and I uh, both, <clears throat> excuse me, we both studied physics in college. Dimitri was in St. Petersburg in Russia, and I was at the University of Michigan in the United States. And we learned while studying physics three really important things that uh, have sort of shaped our vision uh, and our mission for, for Swivel. And those are, uh, the first is, uh, in studying physics, you get a really profound sense of uh, the beauty of measurement. Uh, the second is, you, you get a sense also of how academic peer review truly can advance human knowledge. And the third, which is uh, you know, not so relevant in our day-to-day -day lives in California, but you get a pretty good working knowledge of the Greek alphabet. This is uh, the word uh, apatheia in Greek. It's also the root of the English word apathy. And apathy, uh, especially data apathy, is the root of the problem that we set out to solve with Swivel. We have a fairly simple model in mind. Some people would, might even call it simplistic about how uh, data works in the world today. And we've got three key components. There is the beautiful data that Professor uh, Rosling has mentioned. There are people and then there are leaders. And we see a cycle where people really don't care about data in general. And because of that, the leaders don't really need to care about data either. They won't be held accountable to it and they definitely won't have to put too much money in the budget to make sure that data is more innovative and gets better all the time. So this is the cycle that we want to break uh, with Swivel. There are two types of data in the world. There's public data and private data. And this uh, cycle, the, uh, the vicious cycle we call it, exists in both worlds. In the public sector, you have people who are voters and you have leaders who are elected politicians and then you have the statistics offices that provide all of the beautiful data. In the private world, it's very similar. The people are the shareholders and the boards of directors and the employees. The leaders are the CEOs and the data is provided by myriad business units in each business. The important thing is that these are two sides of the same exact coin. This is just one problem that we're going to set out to solve. The mission we have at Swivel is to make data useful. And we want to do it in a way that people can really engage with data so they can share insights and ultimately make better decisions so that life gets better. How do we do that? We do it with Web 2.0. Swivel is Web 2.0 for data. And our approach is an online collaborative space where people can look at data, work with data, and from that set of statistics, derive new knowledge. We think of it in terms of academic peer review, except it's less academic with many more peers, meaning it's fun and easy and engaging, and everybody is welcome to participate. There is no sense of uh, hierarchy, and uh, it's open to everybody all around the world. So Dimitri is now going to show you an example of what Swivel looks like. Good morning. This is Swivel. Swivel is a website and you can access it at swivel.com. We have over 4,000 data sets brought by the community of over 5,000 registered users and many more visitors come to Swivel to discuss data, and engage in conversation around indicators across all aspects of life. For example, this is global warming data. It shows the concentration of carbon dioxide in ice across over 450,000 years. The discussion around this data All the comments is the example of the community turning numbers into knowledge. Here's another example. This map illustrates the problem of medical brain drain in Africa. It shows medical trained professionals leaving the African continent by country to other countries. And this is an example of Swivel community coming together to actually make data better. This is number of cyclists by country. 
One of the community members noticed that Nicaragua was unusually high on that list. Nicaragua is not known as a cycling country. In the ensuing discussion, it turned out that there's a problem in data interpretation. So the country code for Netherlands was interpreted as Nicaragua. And the community member who brought this data quickly fixed the problem. So we can see how the community can come together to spot issues and work together to make data better. You've seen data brought by our community members. I'd like to show you data from an official organization, the OECD. OECD is the founding member of our official source program. OECD put their entire 2007 fact book on Swivel. And here's an example of what their data looks like on Swivel. What you can see is the full description with sources of data. You can also see a summary table and graphs that represent a summary of the data. Most importantly, you can see again the community engaging in discussion, asking questions about data. We'd like to think of this as an example of OECD's leadership in moving from simple dissemination to interaction with the community. We're very happy to have OECD as the founding member of our official source program. The reason we're here in Istanbul this week is to uh, grow the number of official sources that are in Swivel. In the, the slide that Professor Rosling had where he showed an arrow going out of the indicator database into the web 2.0, uh, tools. That's what this program is all about. And we hope that all of you folks here will join the OECD in uh, you know, joining our official source program and putting your data out into this new Web 2.0 world. And hopefully we'll be able to do a uh, report card in the same way that Professor Rosling did to show that we can bust this cycle open if we turn apathetic people into engaged people. Thank you.